10 Most Incredible Monorails Number 10. Walt Disney World Monorail System Probably the most famous single rail transport system in the world, the Walt Disney World Monorail in Florida was first opened in 1971. Following expansions in 1982 and the 1990s, it now stretches 14.7 miles. And the seven stations serve Epcot, the Magic Kingdom, and three of the resorts. There are 12 six-car trains, each of which is 203 feet long and 10 and a half feet high. And they carry 7,000 people in each direction every hour, which adds up to more than 150,000 guests every day. The train can reach a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour, and the entire system is automated, with drivers being present in the front cab to be on hand in case of an emergency. The 12 trains are each identified by their own colors like red, coral, silver, and peach, and are often themed in line with the latest Disney releases such as Tron, Toy Story 4, and The Incredibles. The Disney World monorail system is the third most used monorail in the world and is often cited as the proof that other places needed to see that transport networks like this could be a success. Number 9. The Flying Panda Line The Flying Panda Line is the name given to the suspended monorail in Chengdu, Western China. The city is famous for its panda sanctuary and breeding program. So to capitalize on this, the trains have all been designed to look like the bears. The network was designed to help tourists travel between entertainment venues in the city and was built at a fraction of the cost that a subway would have involved. The track is just over seven miles long and each train travels at 50 miles per hour with up to 500 passengers in the two aluminum carriages. The trains are powered along the track by lithium batteries, which are recharged as they reach a station. As a fully automated network, there are no drivers on board and the line has been mainly constructed above the local road network to make the best use of the available space. Number 8. The Wuppertal Suspension Monorail The suspension monorail in the city of Wuppertal, Germany, is the world's oldest electric suspension railway and first went into operation more than 120 years ago. The hanging train, known as the Schwebebahn, is one of the defining landmarks of the city and carries more than 85,000 passengers per day along its 8-mile route. The 20 stations all have their own unique designs, such as the glassy Clues station and the Art Nouveau design of Werther Bridge. Numerous publicity stunts have taken place on this monorail over the years, including one of the most bizarre stories to have ever taken place on the public transport. In July of 1950, a three-year-old elephant that was in the city as part of a touring circus was put on carriage 13 with a large group of journalists and fans. It soon became clear that the elephant wasn't comfortable in the crush though, and she first sat on a wooden bench which broke beneath its weight before charging into the side of the vehicle. She burst through and fell almost 40 feet into the river below, luckily only suffering from some minor bruising. It's because of this incident that the courts insisted that the only animals allowed on the monorail were police and guide dogs, a rule that remains to this day. Number 7. The Mumbai Monorail The Mumbai Monorail is the sixth largest monorail system in the world and began operation in 2014. It covers a length of 12.14 miles and has four four-carriage trains that travel between 20 and 50 miles per hour. The fully elevated line connects 17 stations between Jacob Circle in southern Mumbai with Chembur in the eastern part of the city and was opened in two sections. While there's a theoretical capacity of up to 300,000 passengers a day, it hasn't been as successful as was initially hoped, with some estimates suggesting the real figure is closer to 18,000 per day. Because of this, the original plans to build six further lines at a cost of more than $2.5 billion have been shelved, and the transport authorities have begun to look at other solutions. Still, if you want to travel between the parts of the city covered by the monorail, there's no better way to do it than avoid the congestion with a train leaving each station every 45 minutes. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. The KL Monorail Originally called the People Mover Rapid Transport Line, the Kuala Lumpur Monorail connects 11 elevated stations between the city's transport hub, the Central Business District, and a terminal on the other side. 
the line is 5.3 miles long and transports just under 3,500 passengers in each direction every hour. Each of the two-car trains can travel at up to 50 miles per hour and have room for 240 passengers. The trains take DC power from the rail for the motors but are able to operate for half an hour on their own in case of an interruption in the power supply. Crucially, this monorail line was designed to fit seamlessly with the other public transport networks of the city. So it's become a vital way for locals and tourists to move between the stations it serves. Number five, the Sentosa Express. The Sentosa Express is one of the easiest ways to travel between the island of Sentosa and the mainland of Singapore. It was opened in 2006 and serves four stations along 1.3 miles of track. There are seven trains, with five in operation at any one time, and the total journey takes around eight minutes from one end to another. This means there's a train from each station every three minutes, and the network can transport up to 4,000 passengers in each direction every hour. This is actually the second monorail system to have been built on the island and the technology is the preferred means of public transport because of the relatively little disruption it causes to structures at ground level. The Sentosa monorail was the main means of travel between 1982 and 2005, but was decommissioned because it has fallen into a state of disrepair and was replaced by the new modern Sentosa Express. Number four, the Chiba Urban Monorail. In the 1980s, the city of Chiba in Japan was suffering from a serious congestion problem on its own roads. The town planners came up with a radical solution with what would become the world's longest monorail system for more than two decades. There are 18 stations along 9.44 miles of track, and between the two lines, the network caters for more than 45,000 passengers per day. Not only is it an efficient way to move around, but it also offers a unique perspective over the city and allows you to see landmarks from high up. Currently, there are plans for possible extensions and it may one day regain its crown as the longest monorail in the world. Number three, Sao Paulo Line 15. Sao Paulo's Line No. 15 was the first mass transit monorail to be built in South America and is part of the wider transportation system of the city. Currently, the line is 4.7 miles long, with seven stations between Villa Prudente and Jardim Planalto, but there are ambitious plans to extend it a further 12 miles with another 11 stations, something that's being scheduled to be completed in 2021. The line can transport 40,000 passengers in each direction per hour, and when it's finished, it will reduce the commute time between each end from two hours to just 50 minutes. The system is designed by Bombardier and consists of 54 seven-car trains that can reach speeds of 50 miles per hour. The trains can carry up to 1,000 passengers each and are the first in the world to feature inter-car walkways to allow people to freely move throughout. Number 2. Daegu Metro Line the Metro Line No. 3 in the Korean city of Daegu is a 14.88-mile-long monorail that connects the northwestern and southeastern regions of the city. There are 30 stations along the line, two specifically constructed bridges to cross the Gyeonggang River and Sincheon Stream, and was designed to transport 84 million passengers per year. Also known as the Sky Rail, there are 28 Hitachi-built trains in service which can run at up to 50 miles per hour. Safety has been at the forefront of the design, and despite the trains being driverless, they feature sprinkler fire extinguishers and emergency spiral chutes for evacuation. The operators were also aware of privacy concerns in residential neighborhoods, and to address this, they installed windows that contain liquid crystal screens that turn opaque when they enter certain areas to prevent passengers from looking into buildings. There are plans to extend the line further by 2031, and this particular monorail keeps going from strength to strength. Number one, Chongqing Line 2. Chongqing's Line 2 opened in 2004 and is currently the longest monorail in service in the world. It serves 25 stations over 18.6 miles of track and carries more than 234,000 passengers per day. 
It was the first heavy monorail line to be built in China and is renowned for some unusual design decisions to traverse the tricky landscape. Lizebia Station, for example, sees the track run through a 19-story residential building, and the station itself is located on the 6th to 8th floors. Since its introduction, the line has become an integral part of everyday life. In what is one of the largest cities in the world, it is proof that monorails can be more than just a novelty and can be a crucial way of getting around, particularly in places where other transport networks are extremely expensive to build. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.